Greetings, it is I, the Dalek Emperor Mokum. Two. Dalek Commentary. Now, if you must know Dalek Commentary is basically... Basically... Talking about... Um, that's right, I'm, I'm deciding that I should break into commentary every Sunday. Now, this is basically talking about certain events that happen in, um, in the real world, on Earth, all that stuff. Apparently, um, re uh, reason why is because I found this really interesting, uh, uh, interesting, uh, thing about, um, the James Webb Space Telescope. Apparently, um, it has managed to successfully capture images, um, as they were 13.5 billion years ago. Uh, before the birth of the universe, basically. So they're basically time traveling in a way. Uh, and I have this article from Life Science, it's a really good one, you should check it out. Uh, so let me talk about some of the images uh, that the James Webb Space Telescope has taken. Uh, so here's a... Here is the brightest cluster. Let me just show you the, uh, the image now. Okay, so... As you can see here, this is basically a, uh, a cluster in a way. Uh, so basically our first image is basically a cluster of thousands of galaxies that are about, let's just say about 4.6 billion light years away from yeah, 4.6 billion light years away from Earth. And apparently one of the brightest clusters in there. Uh, now I won't, I won't go into detail about every single image around, around here. But apparently the brightest one in the middle, as you should see here. Um, Apparently, yeah, that's about, uh, which is SA, SMA, CS, uh, 0723. It sits about 4.6 billion light years away from Earth, meaning the light we see was emitted shortly before our planet was formed, and you can see the cluster of bright uh, spots uh, of light uh, surrounding it, as you can see, yeah. And uh, apparently it uses, the James Webb Space Telescope uses a lot of gravitational lensing. To basically capture every single galaxy in this cluster, uh, yeah, as you should see. Apparently, the galaxies are, are the galaxies. All the galaxies are in reality more than 13 billion light years away, uh, potentially making them some of the oldest observable galaxies in the universe. And apparently, um, uh, I think I said this, uh, I don't know if I said this, but apparently, the way the James Webb te Telescope works is, Basically, it looks at galaxies that were about a billion years old, or something along those lines. Yeah, not exactly that. Uh, yeah, moving on to the next image is uh, 
step in this quintet. Now, this is a collection of five galaxies which are about 290 million light years away in uh, the constellation of Pegasus. And in um, the um, uh, and the image, as you shall see here, it's basically predicting what is going to happen with the Milky Way and the Andromeda galaxy, as you shall plainly see. Uh, the data tells us more about how galaxies evolve at, at which the supermassive black holes grow, as you shall have it here. Yeah. Oh, 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 one, two, three. Okay, so this image here, this is called the Carinum Nebula. Now, if you must know, the Carinum Nebula is basically... Now, basically what a nebula is, I mean, a nebula is a, uh, basically a nursery for stars, let's just say. Um, and, uh, James Webb can, can probe deep inside the infrared dust which the nebula has to reveal the stellar nursery with, uh, which uh, we have, which we have never seen before. So yeah, this is, this is very new. Uh, um, this is something we haven't seen before. Uh, anyway, um, apparently it's located 760 light years in the southern constellation Carina. The image shows about 100 completely, completely new stars. Every dot of light is a star, yeah, and jets and bubbles created them. We can also see details that we cannot yet explain, yeah. Okay, so here, uh, as you shall... Oh, is it still talking about that? Okay. Oh, oh, this is good. Yeah, this is some... This is the next image, and um, yeah. The next um, image is a is uh, the image of the Southern Ring or the Eight Burst Nebula. It's a planetary nebula that um, that it lo yeah, as you can see, yeah, it looks like an expanding cloud of gas surrounding the dying air. And the, the reason why there's two images, just so you know, the reason why is because there is... This is the normal version, but this is the infrared version. It's using infrared uh, to... to take... Uh, it, it's using uh, mid-infrared instruments to take uh, and spectrometry to take a infrared image of it. You can see two dying stars in the centre, giving us the opportunity to study stel star deaths, as in the death of a star, in a way. So, yeah, uh, overall, uh, overall, yeah, these, these images are amazing. Really, really amazing. I, I, I'm impressed at what the James Webb Space Telescope can do, even though it was made by humans who are inferior. I, I would... I, I would commend them for the great for their great work in studying the um, the unknown regions of space. Anyway, let's uh, let's end the video now. Okay, my fellow subjects, what the? Why is that cake still here? Okay. If you enjoyed this, well, remember to subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next video.
video then, viewers. Um, tell me what topics you want me to cover next Sunday, and I will see you all in the next video then. Goodbye. That's all for the end.